Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, B-Pal Picks Edition. And uh, today I'm going to be giving you picks, yes, uh, but I would highly recommend that you get on Patreon or go to 780-690-1995. Just message me on there and uh, sign your, become a member of um, my interactive pick-by-pick family, which you will get uh, a pick and a parlay for $10 or a pick for 5 Because today, with all the Chicago stuff that's been going on, uh, and throughout the league, players react really different. Um, a lot of players, this hockey just becomes less of a importance, I guess you would say. Um, and I noticed that last night in the games. The energy level in the games was not very high last night. And I could see that happening tonight. So I'm going to be doing a lot of live bets tonight. I'm going to be checking to see which teams seem to have their energy up and are putting this behind them and which aren't. Uh, different players react different ways, and who they are, they are going to be on each team is pretty difficult to predict. So I will be giving you picks, though. This is my pre-early uh, early picks. Uh, if you do become a Patreon member, all you have to do is go to the page, uh, App Store, get the Patreon app, and search BPAL Picks. I'll put the link in the description as well. You can do it that way. Or you can even just Google Patreon. Just go to Google, go P-A-T-R-E-O-N, Patreon, sign yourself up. But 780-690-1995, we can do an email transfer that way. Maybe you just want to do it through email. Then it would be pearlsofwisdom1212 at gmail.com. I'll put it in the comment section. But, uh, yeah, difficult situation going on in the NHL right now, so things can be a little bit a flutter. However, there are some really good picks out there still, and we're going to take a look at them. Before I do, though, sub yourself up. Become a uh, subber. Become a subber. It's fun. (laughs) Hit the like button, and uh, let's get at her. All right. So the first game we have on the card, and by the way, these are going to, I'm giving you, it's Friday. I'm going to start doing uh, free picks on Friday, especially on a day like today. I'm just going to do all the games there for you and uh, for you, and you can see kind of what we do on uh, our Patreon. I also will be looking at the games from last night, and we'll see how we did there. Carolina versus uh, Chicago. With all the stuff going on in Chicago, it's, in some ways, it can be a bit of a relief that things are kind of over now, and there could be like a, and they could just crush this game. Carolina is on a uh, back-to-back, but the thing is, they got one of the best coaches in prep uh, in the league, in Brenda Moore, who prepares teams better than anybody. I think for me, if there was a team that I don't think will be affected by the situation, it would be the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, that So I'm going to take Carolina in regulation here, which pays about 180. As far as the uh, total is concerned, again, there could be it could be, I think there could be a, a lot of lack of energy in the league right now. So I would kind of go to under six on this. Normally I would go over with how poorly Chicago is playing defensively, but Ranta is going to be a net in Carolina and he's a beast when he's healthy. He is extremely hard to score on. So even if Carolina does run up the score a bit, um, they, Chicago will probably have a difficult time scoring with them, not to mention with Carolina's system. And Carolina's on a back-to-back. They are not going to want to run and gun with Chicago. There's no way. Uh, They're going to want to play a strong defensive game against them, uh, help Ranta out quite a bit, and uh, basically try to score off Chicago's mistakes, which they have been making lots of. So I'm going to go under six. Florida versus Detroit. This is a very difficult game. Um, 
first of all, Detroit played very well their last outing. They're at home. Florida's on a back-to-back, and they are, of course, in that situation with Quinville no longer being there. Um, it's, uh, it's, this is actually a really tough game to cap. At the moment, I think I'm looking at the spread on Detroit at 163. But this is why I want to see this is going to be a live game uh, bet because I want to, or live, when it's happening live, first period, I want to see how Florida is reacting, how um, Detroit is reacting to the whole situation, and uh, go from there. But as it stands right now, I think I'd take Detroit puck line. Uh, as far as the goaltending is concerned, it hasn't been confirmed yet. A lot of teams haven't confirmed their goaltending. And again, this is a lot to do with just they're getting a feel for how their players have. Oh, look at that. Bob Rossi's going to be in for the Panthers. Um, oh, this is the first game on a back-to-back. Sorry, not, not the back game of a back-to-back for Florida. So I'll take, uh, as it stands right now, I'm going to take, the PL on, and I think I'm going to take under six. Bobrovsky's crushing it right now. Uh, Detroit as a whole generally doesn't play, um, doesn't score a lot, although they are getting a first line finally that may be able to do that. Um, but I, I just think the energy level is going to be low in all, all of these games. So I'm going to go under six. Next, uh Columbus Blue Jackets versus the New York Rangers. And uh, Columbus uh, uh, Columbus is really playing well together. And they've had three days to practice here. This is the big thing. Both teams have had three games to practice with each other. So makes it a very difficult play. Um, again, I want to. See, this is like a live bet for sure. I want to see how they're responding to the practice time that they've had together. Gallant historically has done, um, when given a couple days, is able to turn things around for a team. And uh, I'm not sure about Larson, uh, how how he's going to be able to uh, impact the team in the three days that they've been off. I probably would go Columbus PL again. Uh, so Shesterkin and Merzlikens are playing extremely well. I would probably take the spread at this moment at 161 for Columbus. Uh, since you're getting better odds on the spread for Columbus than you are on the money line for the Rangers, and the Rangers have been kind of struggling ever since they moved this whole new. Now, I know their record doesn't show that, but they've won a lot of games they shouldn't. And if Columbus comes out hard here and has a, uh, you know, has had some practice time and is able to gel, are able to gel together with that uh, new plan in place, they could cause the Rangers some trouble for sure. Washington, I still, there can be no excuse here for Washington. After losing to Detroit that they know a game in Detroit that they know they should have won. Um they got to be coming out. They can't be undervaluing Arizona here. I can't see it. they got to be coming out crushing it. TJ Oshie is injured, but Arizona has a lot of players injured as well. And um, they were already weak to begin with. So I'm taking Washington. I'm sticking with the Washington PL, the public play here probably, I would imagine. And, uh, you know, on a big play, I would say. That would have to be a big play. Anaheim versus Vegas. This is going to be a live one for sure. Uh, this Anaheim, you don't know what team's going to show up right now. When they're playing on the top of the game, they could beat just about anybody. Vegas, of course, has Pacioretty out. Uh, I certainly don't like that spread, and I wouldn't take it in regulation. Uh, Pacioretty and Stone. Martinez is coming back in the lineup, which is good, but I could see Anaheim keeping this at least very, very close, especially with Gibson and Nett. So I'm going to PL it again. I'm going to take the spread. And at 174, the way Anaheim's playing, I could see them keeping this definitely close. Uh, as far as the – oh, shoot, I forgot to do the totals on all these. 
I'll go through the totals here in a, uh, after I do this. Ottawa versus Dallas. Um, Forsberg is in net for Ottawa, and that concerns me. He's just not a very good goaltender. I think Ottawa is playing really well. They're playing tough. Uh, Dallas is going to play like they have been all along, a very defensive game, but they're having trouble scoring. So with Forsberg being hurt and Dallas having trouble scoring, Ottawa is playing really, really well. Um, I'm probably going to lean to the under here. Under, oh, under five and a half. Yeah, I'm going to lean to the under, and I'm going to go PL again. Just PL everything right now, I would say. That would be the best. Uh, that would be the best thing to do. Uh, all of these games can be tight. Uh, I'm just worried about Forsberg. I'm probably fading this game altogether because I Dallas can Forsberg can just all of a sudden let three or four goals in and it's over, or he can keep Ottawa in the game and they keep it tight. So pretty difficult one to cap on there. Now for totals, let's look at the totals here for all of them. Whoops. Hit the wrong thing. You can tell my voice is a little bit off today. Uh, I guess Chicago, Carolina is definitely going to be an under. For Florida and Detroit, under. Under that too. Uh, Columbus versus New York Rangers, I would probably under this too because the main reason why I would under this game is because both teams, when you have days off, they're going to focus on defense. And they're going to focus on taking care of their own zone first. And I think both of these teams will do that. And with Merzlikens and Chesterkin playing, both extremely good goaltenders, uh, if they're going to do that, they're going to keep it close. Also, consider under one and a half for the first period for this game because for the, for the very same reason. Uh, Arizona versus Washington. Is Arizona going to score enough to get this over six? That's the biggest question. Um, Washington's pro, I, I, Washington should be playing balls out offense here. And if that's the case, Arizona might be able to fluke. I'm going to lean on the over on this, that Washington will be able to uh, capitalize quite a bit on that very, very weak Arizona defense, possibly even a blowout. Uh, Anaheim versus Vegas. This is... Probably a under with Laner. Laner is playing not too bad, but Gibson is playing uh, very well uh, in a sense. Like it's it's when he 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 keeps them in for two periods and has a tendency to fall apart in the third if Anaheim's not playing defense very well. Um, so tough one to cap. I'd probably fade that. It seems like the full full uh, total. Ottawa versus Dallas. I'm going to lean under one and a half in the first period here and probably under overall. Dallas should be able to play defensively well enough that Ottawa cannot out, cannot outscore, uh, cannot score enough to get this game. I, I almost could see a tie in this game, something like 2-2 two, 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 and then 3-2 two in overtime. But I probably fade this game altogether, total and side. Until I get to see when the game starts, what these teams look like. Uh, now, let's look at what happened last night. Uh, Flyers versus Canucks ML, we got that. It was a weird night. Um, and that's, I think a lot of that had to do with the whole narrative that's going on in the NHL. Flyers over Canucks ML, we got that. Sharks versus Canadians over just missed that. Again, it, was, it wasn't it was just missed, actually. You missed it by quite a bit. Uh, again, it seemed like the energy level wasn't very high here. That should have been a for sure over. Uh, Bruins versus Canes under five and a half we got. And Flyers first period over one and a half we got. So it was going good so far, but it kind of falls apart a little bit as we go on. It was a weird night where I hit a lot of the big bets, but didn't hit the uh, Sabres versus Ducks under five and a half. Did not get that. 
Um, I really thought that they would uh, play a much more defensive game against each other since they're East and a West team, but um, they were balls out on that game. Uh, Flames versus Penguins draw. We did not get that, but we did get Sabres versus Ducks draw. It was 3-3, and uh, the Sabres won in overtime. So we got that 4-20. That was cool. Um, Flame, oh, we, got, we, got, we hit this parlay. Flames, PL. Blues, PL. Just got that one. Lightning and Reg and Carolina ML. See, we hit it. Hit big ones, didn't hit the low ones. Blues over Avalanche. I don't know what I was thinking about this game. I Sometimes I, I work on stuff and I miss stuff. O'Reilly was out. I really wish I wouldn't have hit that game. I would have been all over the Avalanche. Uh, but it is what it is. And then Sharks over Canadians. If you watch my video from the last one I did, I said, I don't like taking teams on their first game back of a long road trip. But I thought the Sharks' energy might carry them through here because they're playing with a great energy right now. I was wrong. The Canadians were the better team in one. Jets versus Kings over. So close. But again, watching that game, I saw, a t I saw teams that didn't seem to have their offensive energy like they normally do. And uh, again, all these things that are going on, in, uh, that big situation that's, that happened in Chicago, can affect a can affect the psyche even subconsciously on a lot of teams. So uh, this is where we got our butts kicked here, and then we did after we did okay after that. Uh, Wild versus Kraken, and uh, Wild versus Kraken over Wild for, over Kraken ML, and the Wild team really seemed to take heart. Uh, they really didn't have the energy that they didn't normally have. The Kraken had the energy from being at home in the new building and all of that, and they ended up pulling it out, but they couldn't even pull the over. Man, it was it was 2-1 in the first after the first. I thought that was going to be the over for sure, but we didn't hit it. Uh, the next Arizona, okay, and then we make it back quite a bit here. We hit the parlay. We hit a couple picks earlier. And then we had Arizona versus Lightning over five and a half for five pearls, and and, it, and ten a uh, ten pearl pick on Lightning in Reg over Coyotes, uh, which I said I was a little bit skeptical about. I, I didn't know much about that kid that they were putting in there, so I took it a little lighter. I wish now I would have PL'd it, but um, we ended up being down just a little bit. It's been kind of a down week this week. I know it won't be in the long run. But it was this week. So, okay, you know what? I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to go into Saturday's games and give you a bunch of picks there as well. Why not? Uh, just early, early, early picks. Islanders versus Nashville. Um, that should be an incredibly interesting game as the Islanders have had some time to regroup a little bit while they've been on the road. And both of them are playing extremely hard. I think the I, I love the way the Islanders are getting it back on track and have their mojo back. I'd probably go with the Islanders there. And since it's a day game, it's it, teams have a tendency to be lower in energy. Islanders are killer at day games. So I'm going to say under five and a half. Uh, Montreal versus Los Angeles. Pick them. Uh, I'm going to say Los Angeles wins that game, but for now, but that could change. Uh, that's a difficult one to, to take. Uh, Montreal is starting to get a little bit of a mojo going there, feeling good about themselves. Los Angeles will be in desperation mode. They need to win that game. I am also going to have to look at how long they've been on the – this is a home game after being on the road. This might be one of those first game back on the road road trip situation so keep that in mind if it is go montreal winnipeg san jose okay san jose after that loss should be a lot better here uh and winnipeg has been on the road for a long time that being said oh boy that is a tough game i am probably going to look at the over here though it's i should be giving you guys the Money lines on these. Uh, 
I'm probably going to look at the over, at the over on that game. It's going to be it's going to be a tough game. That's going to be a tough game to cap. Florida versus Boston. This is going to be completely dependent on how Florida plays against Detroit. They lost. They beat Boston at home, and now they're going to be playing Boston on the road. Uh, Swayman should be in net. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Boston on that game. New Jersey versus Pittsburgh. I'm going to say uh, Pittsburgh takes that game, depending on if Hughes is back. Detroit versus Toronto. Toronto, oh, man. They, they're going to want to have to have that game. And Detroit, I'm going to take Detroit. I'm going to take Detroit. Chicago versus St. Louis. Um, Chicago, without O'Reilly back, Barely beat Chicago, maybe. Barely. I, uh, probably Chicago PL. Uh, Minnesota, Colorado. I'm going to take Colorado. I liked what I saw from Colorado the last game they played. I'm going to take Colorado over Minnesota on that one. Edmonton, Vancouver. Just go over and forget about who's going to uh, And Edmonton will probably win. Vancouver's defense is just absolutely disgusting. And Edmonton's is terrible, too. That should be an over all, all day. I'll give you that now. Philadelphia versus Calgary. Just keep rolling. Oh, Calgary's first game back off of a road trip that they crushed. They crushed that road trip. Um, I probably would take Philadelphia PL on that game. Okay, that's my full 42. You guys have a great weekend. Uh, hopefully these picks help you out. Again, if you want my full picks, 780-690-1995. Message me there. We'll work out. E you can also go PayPal, email transfer, what have you. We You can ask me things. Text me and ask me questions about the games, all of those sort of things like that. Um, all part of the package. Cost you 10 bucks for a pick. If you hit the parlay that I give you or the pick, then you pay. If you don't, you don't pay. That's the thing. If you don't win, you don't pay. That's my full 42. Thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day. Okay, bye.